Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play Jake Akum 2. In the last episode, we took on the third Fire Force, and in this episode, we're gonna head to the arena actually and take care of our advancement test. There's also a side quest in the Fire Force, so I might just get all the comma that I missed in the Fire Force. That might be a possible thing. How are you doing? Did you bring some strong divine beasts? You betcha! So, uh, cause, cause otherwise we're just not gonna be able to finish the quest if we don't do it, so... Let's do it! Basically, we'll go ahead and finish that side quest, and if we find any calm along the way, more power to us! And if we don't, ah uh, well. So, 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 we have ourselves a Wind Divine Beast here. Let's outspeed it and blind it, or we can switch into this formation and, uh, I can blind these guys too. That also works in my favor, so I'm not complaining. Unless, you know, we split the targets and... Well, I guess Lilfu could actually probably finish that off from there and... Ow! Please miss. Good. Well, that stung. But we already know that that's what these guys kind of do. Um, I'm just gonna stay... Oh, he's gonna go into that formation. That works, I guess. So, you know, the usual. We'll just lightning this. Obviously, we don't want to be taking too much damage here. Can we, like, actually hit the same target for once? Like, seriously. This is kind of getting a little obnoxious here. Well, whatever. Let's just... I want to just keep out speeding, really. I don't want to switch out of this, because being able to go first is really kind of an advantage, so... Killing them both, also good. So that takes care of one batch of people. Uh, honestly, I just want to stay in here, because... This formation is just currently the best thing to do against the rest of his team, because anyone I blind is really helpful. So I blind this guy, he's not going to be able to confuse us now, hopefully. Exactly. So, so far, I mean, the problem is I'm kind of running out of MP. So, I'm going to switch into this formation. Assume, yeah, I assume you was going to switch into this one. I actually got out of sped, which is a little concerning. But this is all stuff that Scooter can take care of in the meantime. So, that's good, because I'm going to do a lot of damage here. I can pretty much uh, take them, but I like, or that can happen. So, now he has a blinded Divine Beast on top of it. So, this attack isn't even going to hit, hopefully. Or it'll crit, but luckily I can't get confused. I mean, if the worst thing that happens if I get confused is I end up killing him, which is just kind of obnoxious. So, while I'm going to be taking damage now, he's not going to really be out damage. He's not out damaging me. So, as per usual, we're just going to kind of sit here, let uh, everyone get back to full health, let our MP get recovered a bit, and uh, go from here. So, seems to be a pretty good deal so far. So yeah, I'm going up against b -moves. This is going to be kind of tough to do three fights in a row, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. He's going to outspeed me no matter what, unless I go into this formation, so... As much as I don't want to waste a little bit of extra MP, and it's kind of silly to attack. Hey, he's out of Divine Beast now, so we win the fight regardless. That means something, right? So I'm not going to get all my MP back, but I should get enough. And otherwise, I'm at full health, so... Seems like a pretty good deal to me. These guys look kind of scary, though. Uh, if he goes into this, though, I just want to kind of kill it, so... Okay, he's going to switch him. So he's going into a bunch of th the trees, so this is going to be magic, and unfortunately these guys are kind of tanky, so hopefully I can kill one of them. A crit will help. Okay, good. That that reduces some of his ha his power up by half. As you can see, a lot of people are targeting little food because she is essentially a glass cannon, so that's kind of concerning. Okay, I had a feeling he was going to switch back into this. I couldn't see what the other one was. It looked like a water type, so not. this looks like the most concerning group right now. And getting the blind would have been better if I could get the kill, but missing one of these poisons would be great. Or both can hit, but neither of them poisoned, so I feel okay with that outcome. I don't mind this matchup at all, because I should be able to take any sort of a hit that uh, this guy can deal out. And uh, with relative ease. And this gives me another chance to heal back up. Okay, this is concerning, but I have a blind on one of them, so unfortunately... Oh, god, he poisoned my healer. This is less than ideal now, because now I'm kind of stuck in a pretty bad situation. So with that in mind, I'm going to switch into here to hopefully get a kill uh, and a hit on his thing. Then I can go into my fire formation and finish him off if he doesn't switch out to his other Divine Beast. If he does, ow, then... Uh, will be okay. He's really just going at little Foo here, but we actually won. However, this does leave us... Oh, we know he didn't because for some reason Foo is targeting that person. 
I mean, whatever floats your boat, sir. But he almost is definitely going to go for his defensive... Yeah, that thing. So, his water one, just to get coverage. So, assuming this isn't a move that's too terrifying, I can probably stay in here and... Yeah, it's just an MP damaging move. That's what I thought it was. So, while I don't like my MP for my healer getting drained that much, I feel like having health back to a decent extent on my other guys is a little bit more important. So, we're going to get a little bit of health back. One more round of that. Yeah, I'm going to lose pretty much all of my MP for Scooter. But I don't think I'm going to need to heal as much in these next upcoming attacks. So, and I still have enough for a heal. But I'm not going to chance at him going first and it being a waste of a turn. So we're going to go in here, finish this guy off probably in two hits at least. Yeah, that's going to be a clean two-hit KO, I think. And that should be the end of the match. So this will leave us at a pretty decent amount of health. That's good because I'm a little bit worried about this next fight. The third one's always the hardest. And that one kind of kicked my butt way too much. But as long as I have decent MP for my healer, that's terrifying. Wow, okay, do not want, but if I can dial down the center and get a kill, okay, he's going to go first. If I can take these three hits, which I hopefully can, uh, it's going to be closer to Little Foo. Little Foo's probably not going to survive this whole fight. So that's fine, because experience isn't that big of a deal. In fact, everyone's kind of just taking a big hit there, but if I can just dial down the center, can we, no, focus one guy, for goodness sake. Okay, we'll just kill all of them, apparently. Well, I'm going to go ahead and heal in this case. Kill one of them, so that makes my uh, this a little bit better. And I can hopefully get my health up back enough where I can switch into my wound formation, hopefully, and kill one of them before I go first, and then go from there. Opposite of fire is water. So, I'm not quite sure what his other Divine Beast is going to be. The other thing to note is that this is very costly for his MP. He can't keep this up for long. I could just tank out the MP a little bit with my with, with Scooter and use that to my advantage as well. That's also a very tempting option. That's why I don't use these multi-target attacks, is because they use buttloads of MP. And it really does become a problem. So I can just tank this out with Scooter, as you can see. And I'm at a decent amount of health now. Uh, my two mill guys are back to full, pretty much. And I feel relatively safe going into this formation as he switches. Okay, it's just the other guys. These guys aren't even that threatening. So, in fact, it looks like I could probably kill this one. I can. So, while he has a lot of AoE, it's really that one formation that's threatening. The rest is really nothing to write home about. So, I'm going to stay in this. He's going to switch to this one. Hopefully, Lilifu is going to kill that one on the left. No, hopefully... Okay, actually, it doesn't really matter. It's probably going to be the end of Lilifu right here. Because I don't know if I can... I could probably take two of them, actually. I feel pretty confident of that. Yeah, I can take two. So... Close, but no cigar. I feel pretty safe staying in here. Okay, this is actually... I didn't realize he'd probably switch out. Uh, he's probably gonna kill Little Foo, but it doesn't matter, because you don't get experience in these fights anyway. And I feel like I've essentially won. His biggest threat is out of MP, and the rest of his team is really not that scary, so let's just go finish him off. So that was a bit scary, but it ended up working out, and that is the end of the advancement test. So, yay us! Our next advancement test is at 8.55, we're, we're quite a ways away from that, but really it's not very important. You fought well. Yeah, yeah, we've heard you before. So, without further ado, guys, we can add ourselves a new Vidomine Beast. PK is not nearly ready to be added on here, but we will do that regardless. Um, he is going to get... We're going to be heading to the Earth Forest very soon. And he's going to learn a move there that's going to be extremely helpful for him regardless. So I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, otherwise, yeah. PK, go here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, look at that. Just like that, we now have an Earth Formation as well. That's going to be fairly decent. Especially once I add some new moves onto it. Because right now, the Earth Formation isn't really looking too hot. We have, you know, Magma, which is practically useless. And, uh, Blast, which isn't really that good. So it's more going to be just tanking hits formation than anything else. Soon, though, we're going to get the B-level version of Ramakis. Which is going to be a huge boon. And we'll also get a good move eventually for, uh, Gaio. Probably be the next merge we get. We'll either put a B or an A rank move. Probably a B rank move. Uh, because I feel like Gaia's gonna 
How level is Guy already? already? Yeah, it's already level 11. I'm sure by the time we're done with this rotation, he's going to already want to merge again. So we'll probably give it a B-level move of some, of, some co of some sort, some sort of offensive attack, and that'll uh, help us out as well. So, I do need to head to the... Uh, the Fire Force, though, and take care of this quest, unfortunately. Uh, let's go, I want to check the quest is one more time, just to make sure it's something we actually can do. And uh, we'll go into the Fire Forest, and we will take care of that, kind of make it a shortish episode, unfortunately, but I guess in the end it kind of works. Because um, the one we're looking at is this. And, uh, yeah, somewhere, under, it says in Fire Walking, Oh, do we actually have to go to the arena? Hmm. So we actually have to beat the arena. That might not be the best idea. Huh. Didn't really think about that. That's kind of annoying. Uh, give me a sec. I need to figure this out. Alright, so I tried to get this job to work. You know what? It's not worth my time. So... Mr. Guy, I'm canceling your job. So yeah, it lowers your reputation a bit, which is dumb. I've just lost some reputation, but honestly, I'm not I'm in, uh, not in a hurry to get the next uh, thing anyway. So I'm going to take this job in the Earth area, and we're going to start the Earth Forest in this video. We might as well go ahead and just get the first part done. Uh, it's probably going to stretch things out quite ridiculously, but, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can do it. So... Got ourselves a new member. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some a move for him. So I'm hoping I can get all the way up to the point. Uh, the move that we're looking to get pa the um, Pasta King is in the second force. So I'm hoping, luckily, I'm hoping we'll luck out like we did the first time in for the Fire Force, and I'll get it right away. That would be the ideal deal situation. So yeah, it sucks to lose that reputation in the end, especially because I'm getting all the Kalma. Uh, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna get it pretty early regardless. So, this guy is actually the one we're looking for, I believe. Uh, it's the one that'll do that boosting move. So I'm gonna rely a lot on this fire formation, just punch a hole in these, uh, teams. Because unfortunately, without the poison, it's not that, it's not gonna be very easy. Luckily, these leaves do not take initial damage very good. Because, uh, while he's gonna boost his defensive of Ramakia, it's... I mean, they're, one of them's already dead, and the other one's pretty crippled. So, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Plus, I'm going these, in the Earth Formation, and it actually works out pretty decently, because this Blast move kills, and because he goes first, I can actually get that. And these are both moves that are unaffected by defense. So, at least uh, our Earth Formation has pretty much total immunity to uh, that right now, which is kind of cool. So, we'll go ahead and do a little jig, just to get Scooter the experience. Look at our levels, we'll probably actually be able to get a lot of merges done in the next, uh, by the time the next, uh, hopefully by the end of the Earth Force, so very soon. Which will be nice, because that'll, wow, that, that still hurt. That'll give us a really powerful fire formation, and it will also give, uh, Celine Imago and Scooter a sea level heal. So all of these are very good things, and, uh... It'll be pretty nice to have. So, Earth Forest, Earth Forest, Earth Forest. What do you have in store for us today? A cute gem to start with. Uh, definitely want to be collecting a lot of those, because those will give me money, and money means a bigger bag, and bigger bags make me happy. So, okay, you're on this floor as well. I don't want to... Actually, I guess I do I need to show you off, so... There's now a B version of Mushroom Guy. Uh, the Evolve form of Mushroom Guy looks like this. He's kind of Mushroom Knight now kind of terrifying, but we'll go ahead and, you know, summon lightning down on his head, and then blind him as well, because that's just how we roll, yo! And yeah, he's gonna save up, but in the end, it won't even matter, because he's probably gonna miss. Exactly. So, we'll do a little jig, and then uh, I'm not gonna give any... I'm gonna minimize experience gain to the Earth Formation. Well, I'll give it to if I have to, but I don't want to reach level 20. I'm not concerned about that happening. But at the same time, you know, uh, it's not something I really want to do. So we got that going for us. And now we can go ahead and go to wherever this is. Who are you? You're also a new guy. All sorts of new guys. This is the evolved version of uh, those guys that use area attack and the guys that gave us a mod for the Earth Formation. 
So I'll start off with the fire formation and we'll just hammer him hard because they kind of scare me a little bit. Uh, and we'll go from there. So, kill one of them. Good. Because I believe this guy has, yeah, mantle. Which I believe reduces you to one half your health always. It's basically the next version of magma. Um, which is annoying, but whatever. Once again, we'll do a little dance. We'll take this guy on, and hopefully we can find some comma in this first forest. I'm fairly sure, like I said, the one I'm looking for is in the, uh, the B version of the forest. So, uh, or the B, the second version of the forest. So, we should have that coming up fairly soon. Mantle is a tempting move, because, yeah, it reduces health by half. It's a tempting move, move to give, uh, to our Earth Formation. Just in the meantime, I want to get a little bit of healing up here. It's kind of a bit of a scary move, to be honest. Because as you can see, having your health reduced to half can hurt if you're a tank. Uh, it's definitely the way to, a way to bypass tanks. Earth does have a lot of good ways to do that. So that might be a tempting move to give to my Earth Formation, just because I, t I plan to start a lot of fights off with uh, doing uh, basically uh, the defensive boosting move. So having a ha move that lowers HP by half is actually fairly strong to have initially on the first turn. So it's something I'll keep in mind. I kind of bungled the way I phrased that, but whatever. Do we have story time yet? No. We do have all sorts of goodies for us though, and that's that's kind of cool. So this uh, this first Earth Forest is going fairly quickly, and I believe I just initiated on someone. No, but it's just this guy, so. And dead Zors. So that takes care of that. And more level ups. Uh, we'll just continue to wander on this Earth Forest, because while I found the end, I apparently have misplaced story time. Must be somewhere over here, probably. Would not be surprised. Maybe it's this one right here. No, but there is a comma! I think, based on the fact that it's an Og, this is actually the one with a mantle. So that's good, because like I said, it's a very tempting move to give to Gaia for a little bit until we have an A-ranked Earth move. Because there aren't many good physical Earth moves anyway. So, all in all, it might actually be a decent strategy. So I'm definitely going to have to consider it. Um, and then hopefully we'll come across Ramakia very soon, and I'll be well. Uh, unfortunately, Gaia going before PK is kind of inconvenient right now because, uh, well, pretty obvious reasons, really. Can we stop lowering all my health by half? This is actually kind of annoying. But I will heal up a lot of my health back, so... While it's annoying, it's not going to be detrimental in the long run. Especially because I am going to be going back to base rather soon, as we do know. So, uh, this blind will keep him from killing me, hopefully. Yeah, that's good. And we can go ahead and just finish him off. I'm not too worried about getting health back. It's too risky that he'll just hit me and then undo all the progress I made anyway. So we'll just kill him and we will move on. So that's one more comma down. Always a good time. Uh, I don't know how close I'm to level 20. I don't really care to look. But uh, yeah, we'll just continue the Earth Force until we get that. And then I'll end the episode off of merging and I will then meet everyone back at the- Where did- Did I just like- Where did I miss this, uh... Okay, there's a path over here. I guess I just... The story time must be over here somewhere, and I just blatantly missed it. That's cool. Shield book, we already know that. Uh, whatever it does, I don't actually remember. This is story time, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. Hi! Welcome to Kiki Nack and Company! Uh, okay. Huh? This is Kiki Nack and Company? What is this all about? Yes. What are you doing here? Traveling salesman. Gotta buy something? Uh, okay. Is there anything new in here? I completely forgot this app. No, this isn't really even... I can sell some of my gems, I guess. Yay. Here, have some shield books, too. I, I don't understand the purpose of all this, but whatever. Thanks again. Oh, I guess there's more. It's a weird voice. Oh, well, that's awfully nice of you. Really? Hey, don't go taking stuff from strangers. Well, it's a present. No, no, no. Huh? There is someone who is cheering you on. Interesting. 
That's true, we are going up against the Sweet Knights. It's kind of like some supposed to be some sort of decently famous event, so... That's interesting. We have an admirer, guys! How exciting! So, anyway, let's head, uh... We, we're still actually pretty decent on time, so we can probably find have enough time to get the combo we're looking for and move on. Assuming we don't run into a battle, which... Honestly, I get the feeling there's going to be a battle on this floor, so... Don't forget, we are fighting all the Sweet Knights, so... I, I'm willing to bet we have more of that to look forward to be looking forward to. So, here's hoping we find the calm I'm looking for quickly, and uh, be able to move on quickly as well. So, that would be pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Uh, so, what exactly am I... Where, where, I'm looking for a king, comma, 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 please be comma. Seriously? Seriously? Did I just like get the comma like that easily? Is that even a thing? Is that even possible? It is possible. Yay me! So that actually is really convenient. Uh, I now have the comma I, I need. Hopefully this isn't going to kill him three shots. No, this guy looks pretty tough. I wanted to get as much damage down before uh, he gets his defense boost up. But there we go. This is what I'm going to be giving to PK. And uh, good times, really. Because with this on PK, we're going to be able to uh, have increased defense. And that's really cool. Increased defense is a wonderful thing to have. Ramakis is honestly one of the strongest abilities in the game, in my opinion. Because having... Just the extra defense keeps your piece like you really cannot get hurt that much when you're in that formation and it's really cool okay if i go into this i'm gonna kill him i'm gonna give the experience to pk at this point because if i can get to level 20 oh actually no this works out because you can't kill with magma that's kind of the detriment to it why in the end it's not a really good move uh but that lets me actually get to here to do that. So I guess in this context, it is a good move. Yay, me! So I guess I'll continue on this Earth Force a bit until I reach level 20. Because that would be cool. Uh, how close... It, well, it depends on how close we're at level 20. How close are we to level 20, game? You are 1,600 away. That's still quite a bit. Huh... I'm very torn as to whether or not I should continue or not. Oh, what the heck, let's continue. I notice I have a little bit of time in this video I can afford to get, so uh, playing a little bit longer means I can probably finish the Earth Force in the next episode, and that would be really swell, to be perfectly honest. I'd love to get the Earth Force completely like finished off in the next episode. So, oh, you walked towards me. Well, darn you. Alright, that's the end of that fight. And I mean, that gets us ever closer to our goal. Though, man, it is kind of far away. Yeah, but I'll continue a little bit more. I really don't have any qualms of doing that. Uh, I am all sorts of lost, though. Actually, I'm fairly sure it's a better idea to stay in this section and finish it off first before I progress, because then I won't get so lost. Seems like a relatively wise idea. Hey, you're a guy! I shall test you for the power to fight Kalma. Come, take me on. Well, okay, that's actually kind of convenient. We get a battle here to go with. I don't know what you're saying, but okay, let's do it. Good. Come at me. Come at me, bro. So, we get ourselves a little battle here. Uh, this might actually okay, get us to the point where going. we are going to have to go back and end the video because it's well going to start getting a bit long. So, what are we going to first? Probably some water magic from the looks of it. Which means I probably want to try to finish this guy off. Luckily for us, our fire formation is extremely potent. And we can essentially one-shot these Divine Beasts. Varga, okay, we know that this move is not really that potent. So, that's not really a worry. Yeah, it does some AoE damage, but it doesn't really accomplish that much in the long run. So, I honestly want to stay in this formation. Because, yeah, I figured he was going to go back to the Earth formation. I just want to punch a hole in these leaves here before the defense boost gets up. Because, yeah, it doesn't matter how much you boost your defense if you have a hole in your formation. Which he now does. So, whoop de do. He has one guy left. Uh, he's probably going to have to go into that to defend. So I'm going to go into my Earth Formation here. 
The reason being is that my Earth Formation is not affected by Ramakia at all, and that should get them low enough so that a little Foo and Ceiling can finish them off in the Wind Formation. Which then leaves them wide open, unless, you know, that happens. Even so, okay, Agnite's kind of scary, however, I can easily take those hits because that's just what PK does. It's pretty cool. Also, do know that, yeah, PK does have a Mago, so once we merge, we should actually end up getting a our next formation, or our next evolution for him. I'm just bungling all the words today. It's kind of a thing I do though, so no one was really surprised that day. So, we'll go ahead and heal up. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but it'll also run out the turns for his defensive boost. In fact, they might already have run out now. Does he still have a defensive boost? No! Which means we go into our win formation and we proceed to kill the middle guy. So, yeah, as long as Scooter goes after her. I'm mixing up my Divine Beast. Blah! But at this point, you know, he's uh, pretty much wide open. So we're going to switch into our formation here and just hammer away at his shields. And it'll be good times. So that's two shields down, three shields down. Only one shield left to go. Okay, cool. It's Yarga. No one really cares. Or is that Varga? I can't tell if it's a V or a Y. It's probably a V. They look kind of... I'm, I'm kind of blind, apparently. So we'll just switch into this, and game, set, match. Boom. That'll give us another leaf, but this is going to give us a new I Divine Beast. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo to you too, sir. Cry me a river. Cry me a boat. You are the warrior I hoped for. Please, take this. Yay! I have one leaf this medal. Is proof of defeating me. Oh, so I'm well, not gonna get new divine beast then, because it's only one. It's the first leaf I've actually fought. I kind of skipped through his text there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Hi, say something else. More good warriors are certain to bring victory in our holy war. The earth life seem pretty peaceful and nice. It's kind of cool. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna look for all the. Uh, there might be like a comma in here or something. No, there's a healing flower though. Okay, what? How long? How close am I to 20? If I'm, if I can just get to 20, uh, it's just like two or three battles. Yeah, as much as I'm kind of pushing the limit on this video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get to level 20, cause it's convenient and it gets more. The more of this Earth Force I get done now, the less I have to do next episode and the less ridiculously long next episode is gonna be. So I'm just gonna fight a couple divine beasts. Actually, that's right. I do have a couple things to cut out anyway, so I should be good to go. All right, that takes care of that fight. Uh, if we can just... Oh, there's a new guy right here, actually. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, it's basically one of these guys. Or two of these guys, technically. So, one more fight if this should be enough to get to level 20. That's good. Uh, so, what do these guys even do? Well, I don't know because it's initiative, so... Maybe they'll show up this turn. I don't actually remember what these guys do off the top of my head. Um, interesting. Lapias. What does that even... What do you even- oh, it boosts speed! That's right, I remember now. Uh, as interesting as that is, you know, it doesn't really- Boosting speed's not really- I mean, yeah, you'll go first, but in the end, I don't know if that's really that needed. Especially because, I mean, obviously this guy's not going to do anything against us, except normal attacks, which aren't going to even hurt, and we still outspeed him anyway, because don't forget, Earth types are slow regardless. So, while it's an interesting set to boost, I wouldn't call it something that's actually worthwhile. And we're still a little bit short of level 20, so I guess I'll keep going just a little bit longer. Uh, there's a guy over there. Is there a comma in here? No, nothing in here. Okay, we're not going to look for another comma. We're just going to fight this guy. Uh, call it a video. Well, we'll, we'll merge first, and then we're going to call it a video. So, that way, you know, I've reached level 20. We've got a little bit farther in this forest, so there's not really uh, anything really to worry about and uh, we'll just you know try to finish up this earth forest next time I and mean, don't forget the earth forest boss take forever so that might be easier said than done when it comes to that but yeah why am i still talking
There we go. Level max. So, with that, we're going to head back to the temple. Merge and call it a video. So, we got a decent chunk of the way through uh, the Earth Forest. I should hopefully be able to finish off the rest next time. That would be the ideal plan. So, let's go return on Kalma. We'll do that one merge. It should be the only merge I have to do. In fact, I'm like fairly sure it's the only merge I have to do. And uh, in the next episode, we will finish off the Earth Forest, hopefully. Uh, it might be a bit of a long episode, but I'm going to get it done. So, uh, Resist Fire is also the reason why I want to give this to Gaia, because that's a great ability to have. Fire is always scary, so being able to do less damage is always really good. So, I kind of hiccuped a little bit there. Without further ado, Gaia, or, I'm going to always confuse the names, uh, merging with this, Ramakia is ours, it's pretty awesome, so let's go ahead and finish this merge, and we will, well, we'll call it an episode. So, uh, I believe Ramakia boosts defense by, I forget the exact percentages, but it's by a fair amount. It's enough where it'll actually make a very significant difference in battle, and it's a really good move to have. So, uh, that's the plan there. And we already got the move I want for Gaia. Really, I have all the moves I want from any next merges for quite a while. That's a pretty small thing to have. And also, here is our next form for this guy. He's This is what he looks like. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, thanks to Imago, he starts like this. Everyone's going to be having Imago pretty soon. Uh, except for a little foo, but that'll be rectified eventually. Thank you. Blah, blah. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to finish up the Earth Forest. And we will uh, go from there. So, it's like 7DX signing out. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.